Hey everybody, uh, I'm just gonna take a minute here and do a very high level overview of the two major differences between Lighting Boss 2.0 uh, sales and design app and FX My Design. There are a number of little differences, um, but the two major differences are A, how we go about the proposal, um, and then B, how we go about the night mode. So let me show you the proposal first. So what we do with our proposals is that we actually, as you're creating a layout, we are creating the proposal for you and doing the calculations for you. Um, now you have the ability in our free version to make tweaks as to how many hours you wanna charge, what labor price, whether or not you wanna do discounts, um, whether or not you wanna charge tax, you wanna do an upgrade charge, a downgrade charge, et cetera. So you've got some, some flexibility here, uh, actually quite a bit of flexibility. What you don't control in our free version is the products that we have in the system um, or the MSRP price that we have in the system. In our pro version, however, you have complete control over that. So FX is similar is the, in that they have a free version where you can sell their products. They simply don't have a pro version like us where you get to dictate the uh, product lineup and the pricing. Um, another major difference is that from what I can tell in FX's uh, Pro proposal uh, portion is that you just, you simply dictate the price even after you do the layout. It looks to me like you just pick whatever proposal price, whatever price you wanna put in the system and then insert that right there. So I, I don't think it does any calculations for you from what I can tell. Um, and where that shows up is just right here at the top of the proposal. So it's just a, just a flat number that you simply put in here, all right? So that's the major difference from a proposal standpoint that you're using FX products solely with their product, which with their, my design, which you should be, that's exactly how they should set it up. They're a manufacturer. Um, they wanna focus on their products. So uh, if I were in their position, I do the exact same thing. Um, and as, also, as I mentioned, it doesn't seem like it does calculations inside the system. You just put whatever number you want to go in that proposal. Now, as far as how we go about the night mode, and I don't like people to get too hung up on night mode simply because I, that's not what I'm using to sell the project. You know, I'm, I'm selling myself. Um, I'm selling my vision with my words. I'm selling it with uh, great photographs that I've taken from other projects, or I'm doing a nighttime demo and I'm selling it that way. Um, so I don't like to get too hung up on the rendering, but we do have this night mode. And so does so does uh, FX My Design that can show people what you're trying to accomplish, and and this is how ours looks. So what we do in night mode is that you take a daytime image, we put a translucent black film on it, and then we put what we call illumination cones, which is gradient over top of that. And what's cool about that is we have the ability to change the color of the gradient too. So we can show green and red and cool white versus warm white. Um, so we have some real flexibility. Plus it's very obvious as to what we are trying to accomplish. We're trying to use a very narrow beam spread on these queen palms, um, a, a little more of a wash with this uh, floodlight over here and these well lights over here and, and these uh, up moonlights up here. So it's very obvious as to what we are trying to accomplish. The way FX goes about it is as you can see, if I scroll down, is that they remove, they put that same black translucent film over a daytime image, but they remove the film then in night mode. So you choose your width, your height, and all of that, but they then remove the film. So they're trying to create more of a realistic rendering, whereas we're just trying to have these cones show where the light is supposed to go. Now, where it looks really great, in, in my opinion, um, on the FX My Design is on architecture. I think it looks really awesome, like over here on the right, even the walkway, I think that turned out really cool. So if you're trying to, to render uh, an architecture um, image, 
I think the FX My Design is super cool. But as you can see, if you're getting up into the landscape and you got a blue sky behind it, yeah, it's it's hard to tell what exactly it is I'm trying to accomplish. And now it just looks like there are these uh, big black areas sort of in between. So this is the exact same image. Um, I literally did the exact same rendering uh, on theirs as, as I did ours. Um, so we just go about those different ways. And um, I encourage you to try both programs out. Um, honestly, I don't care which one you use. I just want you guys documenting your projects. Uh, that's key here for service, um, for maintenance down the road, even for installation so that maybe uh, the owner or salesperson doesn't have to be on site. So document your projects. Um, utilizing whatever tool, whatever technology works best for you. So try both these programs. And uh, as always, reach out to us, reach out to your local Lighting Boss sales rep if you have any questions.